with this solution, it, it sounds like it's going to be most applicable to um, you know construction contractors, trucking companies, manufacturing, um, you know businesses where you know they're paying a lot of premium for these uh, you know for these excess and these umbrella layers. Uh, a lot of those type of companies on their insurance, they need A-rated paper um, either for their bankers or for their uh, you know um, you know for their contractors, whatever the case may be. So I assume we're using a fronting carrier here. Um, you know, to get that A rating, uh, maybe ten seconds on what a fronting carrier is and how that's uh, and and who that is in this in this setup. Yeah, great question. Now, I will say that a fronting carrier is not needed in some scenarios, but if it's needed, there is one that's available. And uh, what a fronting carrier is, it's an insurance company that says we have excess capacity. So we're going to basically write the coverage on behalf of this captive and then reinsure all of the risk to that individual captive. And depending on the rating you need, the higher the rating, the more the fronting carrier charges to use uh, their rating. But in essence, a fronting carrier only issues the policy, but they take no risk. All of the risk is transferred to the uh, specialty cell program on the back end. Got it. And so in this case, is the program, are, are, are we using a third-party carrier or is this, um, you know, is it is it done internally with the, you know, with the reinsurance companies? Yeah, the specialty program has its own rating. So it's rated with AM Best. Uh, but in certain cir circumstances, as you mentioned, they may need a higher rating than an A10, A9. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I know they just got upgraded. Um, right. But let's say you needed an A13 carrier, then a fronting carrier is available that has that rating that will then issue the policy and then reinsure to the specialty cell. Um, now, there's A, A plus, B, like there's the numbers, and then there's the letters behind it, or there's the letters and then the numbers behind it. Now, the letters like A refer to the financial strength of the insurance company. The higher the, the letter, the better the rating. And then the number behind it refers to how much excess capital and surplus they have. So an A10 carrier may have $3 billion worth of excess capital and surplus. An A13 may have $50 billion, but there's specific, there's specific numbers that correspond to how much excess capital and surplus does a, does a carrier have. Got it. So it sounds like, though, in most scenarios, you know, the insureds, you know, while it's something to look at, it shouldn't be a problem getting their needs met from a, you know, from a rating standpoint. Correct. 